Hey guys, here's a quick tutorial on Shot Tracer Pro for PC. Let's start up the Shot Tracer Pro app, and one thing you'll notice is how similar it is to the OS version. It's actually identical. So you just select the videos you want to process, and obviously you can do multiple videos in batch, meaning you can multi um, you can import as many videos as you like in one go. And now Shot Tracer Pro for PC will automatically track the ball flight in each and every single one of those videos. It takes a few seconds um, to track the ball flight in the video. Um, so obviously the more powerful the laptop or the computer, the faster it will process the videos. This Dell is actually quite quite an old one, so it takes takes a little longer. But as you can see, we're already we're already done here on some of those videos. Let's take a look at this one, at the first one. So we see a nice little draw here. I can change the landing spot to my desired landing location if I want to. I can change. Um, well, I can actually have a look at the tracking quality by pressing the thumb, uh, the the settings wheel, um, just by the miniature and checking out or adding or deleting some of the um, tracking points. I can change the color in the settings menu. I can also change different um, aspects and animations of that line. And in the meantime, the other videos are processing and finishing to process as well. Here's a video that didn't track. Uh, that's mainly because the ball just flies straight out of frame. He just kind of pushes it way out to the right. So I can manually set the, the tracer line here by going frame to frame and just telling the computer where the ball has been manually. So I'm going to just set the impact frame. Here you can see the impact frame is, well, there's no actual impact frame. The, there's a frame before and a frame after the shot. So I'm going to set the frame before the shot as my impact frame. And then I'm just selecting the location of the golf ball. If you can't see the ball very well, you can actually use the zoom function on the lower left corner of the screen and zoom in. Then you just need to um, make sure you drag the screen to the right location where you have the golf ball. Let's see here, just let me drag it to the left. Yeah, and then just basically press where the ball is and press the space bar to jump to the next frame. And you should mark it at least five frames, um, but the more is better, obviously. Here, as you can see, the ball flies out to the right, never comes back. Therefore, we actually had to do this one manually. The rest looked great. Um, now, I'm just gonna select an export folder. Here, I've prepared a folder called export and I'm ready to export all those videos. That's it. I don't have to do anything else. That's all I had to do. And I just processed thing, six videos in batch without any, any trouble within seconds. Obviously, I could change animations. I could change color. I could add a swing tracer to the video. I could do all sorts of things if I wanted to. But essentially, the main purpose of this here is to get the tracer line on a bunch of videos and I'm happy and I'm just letting them save. Um, the, the software will work with any resolution, 1080p, 4K, 2K. Uh, you can throw anything at the software, it will work with it. Like I said, it's basically identical to the Mac OS version. So feel free to watch any of our Mac OS tutorials for Shot Tracer Pro. They will apply 100% to what you'll find in the PC version. So here are some of the videos that we just processed. As you can see, works perfectly well. Extremely simple, extremely fast. This is Shot Tracer Pro for PC.